I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I Good afternoon, welcome back to Candy's Hole. My name is Candace. Today I'm gonna be making some pumpkin bread. My kids have been at school all day, so I've had a lot of downtime. Um, I did clean a lot this morning, clean, clean, clean. It's never ending list of stuff I could clean. So I got a lot of cleaning done, a nice fresh home for me all morning and afternoon. But now I'm about to mess it up because I'm gonna make some pumpkin bread before the kids get home. Well, actually, it's 2.40, so it might be a little bit after. By the time they get home, it might be done afterwards. But that's okay. We're still going to make it. And other than that, I've been just kind of hanging out with my dogs. And I started watching that Jeffrey Dahmer um, documentary. It's pretty messed up. If you don't like messy, weird things, do not watch that documentary on Netflix. I find that I'm like kind of hooked on it now, but... Yeah, it's that's a pretty messed up show, but it's it's really popular right now, so I thought I would just check it out. But other than that, I've been having a chill day. It's been a great day. It's chilly out. It's fall, and we're making pumpkin bread, so let's get this done. All right, so we're going to get started. I was just thinking, I'm making this pumpkin bread, and I still got to think about what I'm going to make for dinner. I think I might do... I got this on sale. Pretty good deal. I think I'm gonna do KFC bowls, but I don't have um, a brown gravy packet. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna do that. All right, so first we're gonna mix up our dry ingredients. Two cups flour. Gotta love flour, the mess that it makes. There's our two cups. And two cups of sugar. It wasn't quite two. Teaspoon, one teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of baking powder. I put a little bit too much in, but that's okay. And then it says cinnamon and nutmeg. I'm just going to use this pumpkin pie spice. And you just, let's do two teaspoons. So let's do a teaspoon of each. So we'll do two. Like that. And a half teaspoon of salt. All right, so we're gonna mix this in good. All right, set that aside. Then you're gonna wanna grab your mixing bowl. So you were supposed to leave the sugar out. Oh my gosh, wow, I'm really screwing this up. So you're supposed to mix in the butter and sugar. I just assumed since it was dry stuff that to put it in there, but mix the sugar in the butter first in here. I put the sugar in with the flour, so I can't do that. So let's go on to the next thing. So add in the eggs and beat in the pumpkin. So we're gonna do butter, eggs, and pumpkin. This is all gonna be mixed in together anyway, so it'll be all right. Just switch things up a little bit and don't listen to me apparently. So I'm gonna melt some of this down. All right, the best part of the recipe besides the sugar, pumpkin, yeah. It smells good. It 
And now we are going to mix this up. All right, let's see this magic happen. Mix until well combined. Doing its thing. Mix it. Mix it real good. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. It's mixed in pretty good. Now you're going to grab your flour mixture. I think I'm going to do only a little bit at a time. I don't think it's said to do that, but. Just gonna play it safe and just do a little bit. Trying to add in the last half. See, it's like, come on, get around this thing. So while that's going, we're going to do our pans. So you want to spray the pans, it says, and then sprinkle some flour on top. Hopefully these pans will work. They're kind of shorter ones, but we'll see what happens. Caution here, I guess. So today the school nurse emailed me that Tansy got stung by a bee. And she's never been stung by a bee before. And she is terrified of bees. So I can only imagine how that was at school when she, her, it was her finger. When she got stung by that bee, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm sure it was awful. But she didn't have any reaction. And she said that, the nurse said that she was happy with an ice pack on her finger. But I was like, I can come get her if you need me to. Like if she's, you know, really like uncontrollably crying or just really upset. I mean, I'm home and it's 10 minutes away. So whatever, she's only in pre-K. So I'm like, I can come get her. But she said that she was fine. But it'll be interesting to hear the story of the bee sting when she comes home. Oh my gosh, the batter tastes so good. I just tried a little bit and it's delicious. So we're going to pour this in now. The oven's still preheating. So I'm going to link this recipe in the description box so you guys can look it over a little bit better and not make mistakes like I did. I think I'm just kind of rushing it because I wanted this to get done before the kids got home, but that's okay. It's still gonna taste really good. And this is gonna bake in the oven. I believe it's a, yep, 65 to 75 minutes or until you stick a fork in or a knife, whatever you got. We have not turned the heat on yet. It is September 29th. I think it was 65 in the house when I woke up today. That's not bad because I got the low is 31, but trying to hold off for a couple more weeks. It's supposed to warm up this weekend, so I don't know if you guys have turned your heat on yet, furnace or wood heat, whatever you got going on. Have you turned it on yet? Where do you live? We live in Wisconsin, so it gets pretty cold here, but try not to turn that heat on. Want to save a little bit. We went from hot, hot weather to super cold, so... I don't know, the energy bill is just always up there. So I'm, we're just trying to have like a little break with our energy bill. It's like 65 when you wake up and then by like 10, 11, 11, it's almost 70. It, it's really not that bad. I should have mentioned though that we have a pellet stove and when we ran it last winter, it was our first time having it. We ran it from November to February. We ran out of pellets. And from February until spring, we had to use our furnace and we were freezing. 
because there's you always hear there's nothing like wood heat it's true like we were freezing even with our furnace on we just could not get warm we were missing our pellet stove so bad so this year we went and got three ton of black hills gold pellets so i think last year we got a below two ton this year we got three ton so excited to start the pellet stove still a little bit too early i i would say to turn the pellet stove on that's just for us though but when we do turn it on super excited because wood heat you cannot beat wood heat it is just so good and it makes you nice and toasty warm and just the flame and the fire ambiance Hello! Hi! Hi guys! Hi, you got a prize for us? It was in your hair? Yeah, and I like to feel like stomach in the finger. Did you cry? Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Oh gosh. And there's a little hole in my finger. Oh. I want to go inside. What is it? We need to come back with a little one. And what'd you get? Teeks. A bad man Christmas book? See, this is how we got that. Hmm. Mama, and see my lunch. Mom, see my lunch. Okay. I'm going to show you something. Watch. Are you hungry now? Close your eyes. It can't see. I'm not. I'm, okay. I'm closing my eyes. Open. Okay. <gasps> you ate it all? Uh -huh. Good job. Mmm, they smell so good. I butchered that one because I stuck a knife in it, but yeah, they're done. How is it? It's the best? Yeah. KFC bowls tonight. Let's go. So Sunsea's potatoes are really big. I'm going to cook them for 15 minutes. We'll see if that does the job. So since I do not have any brown gravy packets, I'm just going to try to make my own. So you need two quarter cup of water and I'm going to double the recipe. All right, then we're gonna bring that to a boil. And then I grabbed some of these bouillon cubes, two beef, two chicken. When that starts boiling, we're gonna pop these in there and let them dissolve. You need four tablespoons of butter, but again, I'm gonna double this recipe. I really like a lot of gravy. You're gonna put this in a different pot and melt this down on medium heat, over medium heat, I should say. Quarter teaspoon of pepper. And some garlic powder or onion powder. Quarter teaspoon, but I'm gonna do a little bit more. All right, let's add our cubes. You can't turn the tide. Let the water go where it wants to go. You can run and hide. Self beneath the stone. Somebody told me, Don't pretend. Cause everyone can use a friend sometimes. Take some good advice. Don't let your fear decide. That's how you break inside. Don't need to worry 
See the chickens. You fucking. 